Hi, let's take a look at what's new inside Caspio version 9.9. .9. In this release, we have redesigned the overview screen to include a new tip section, which will guide the users to creating their applications. The tip section is dynamic and it will change based on your application progress. For example, once you publish your data pages, this section will automatically disappear. We're also including the application snapshot that will display useful information about your applications. For example, in this application, we have a total of 646 records across our tables, three attachments, and a total application storage space of 1.15 megabytes. As you add additional objects and entries inside your tables, these numbers will automatically reflect those changes. Below the useful information, you will also find quick links to create or manage the application's objects. The second feature that we are very excited to introduce is the all-new Triggered Actions. Triggered Actions has a drag-and-drop visual interface that's used to define application logic. With this feature, we can now perform additional data changes on the same table and other tables. To do so, you will need to configure the functions on the left side. The Actions is the initial starting point to building triggers based on Insert, Delete, and Update. Data function gives you the options to select data from other tables or define constants. Logic allows for comparison types and logical operators to create workflows and filters. Text function allows for string manipulation such as search and replace, concatenation, trimming, and static text. Number function deals with math operations such as simple arithmetic, random numbers, and static numbers. And date can be used for date manipulation such as timestamps, date difference, and static dates. Let's take a look at some common examples of how triggers can be applied to an application. If you're developing an inventory management application, for example, you might create a trigger to update the inventory table whenever a new order is created. You might also create a trigger to calculate the price of the order based on the quantity multiplied by the cost per unit. Last, but certainly not least, you could even set up a trigger to create a new record inside a log table each time a record is updated, same as I have it in the example to the left. This trigger creates an entry inside the log table when a new customer is added to the customer table. For more in-depth video tutorials and articles on how to build triggers, and for additional release notes and enhancements, please visit our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the latest features.